One of the most impressive moments of Game of Thrones was when the origin of the White Walkers was revealed. In one of his visions, Bran saw how the children of the forest possibly created the Night King to fight against men. But something went wrong, the Night King rebelled against his creators, and brought the first Long Night to the world. But why did this character turn evil? What is his true agenda? In this video we will be analyzing the Night King. A threat that could return in the future. And if you like all the videos related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome. To the Three-Eyed Raven. This story begins thousands of years before Daenerys' birth. The first men crossed from the continent of Essos to Westeros, looking for new lands to expand their influence. Men began to build buildings and claim everything in their path, but Westeros is not an inhospitable place, there are people who refuse to submit to men. Here begins the first great war between the children of the forest, the giants, and the men. Although the giants were big and strong, they were short of intellect. On the other hand the children of the forest were skilled in ancient magic, but they were not very strong, and their magic was not meant for war, so they began to lose the battle. As time passed, the children of the forest and the men came to a truce, a peace treaty that would be interrupted by the first long night. The men fought alongside the children of the forest to defeat these white walkers, and the story of the Azor Ahai occurred, a hero who ended the long night. However, for a long time, the children of the forest kept information from the humans. In legends about the white walkers, it was never mentioned that the White Walkers were created as an alternate plan of the Children of the Forest. Possibly it was a secret that the children kept to avoid affecting the new relationships with the humans. But then, if the Children of the Forest had made a truce with the men and the war was over, why did the Night King rebel against his creators? To understand this we must start from the beginning. As I mentioned, the children of the forest were losing the war against the men, almost as a last alternative is when they decided to create the White Walkers. In Bran's vision, we can see that the children of the forest created the White Walkers using Dragonglass. And we know that they rebelled during the time of peace. This means that the White Walkers were under the control of the children of the forest, possibly thousands of years before they rebelled against them. But why did they rebel? The first theory is that the Night King retained part of his humanity, and resented the children of the forest for transforming him into a weapon. A monster that would wipe out everything in its path. Deep inside, the Night King may know that there is no way he can return to his natural state. Perhaps he knows that the only option he has to survive and take revenge is to destroy everything in his path. The second option is that the children of the forest actually had the Night King imprisoned somewhere, in case the humans attacked them again. Perhaps the Night King was not supposed to escape to the north and create his army. It could be the equivalent of dropping a bomb by mistake. Possibly the Night King was activated unintentionally, and the children of the forest could not stop him. Another option is that the story of the deities at war is true, if there is the God of Death and the Lord of Light, possibly the God of Death chose the Night King as a type of pawn for his purposes. As mentioned before, the third option is that the Night King has developed his own personality, and his own goals. Possibly there came a time when the Night King wanted to attack the men, and take back what belonged to the children of the forest, but the children of the forest wanted peace. These differences may have led the Night King to create the first Long Night. I think the answer to this mystery can be found in the White Walker's weakness. 
the same element with which they were created, the dragonglass. This element was used by the men thanks to the teachings of the children of the forest, which leads us to understand that not only the children created the white walkers, but also created a weakness in them. The men used iron swords and wooden spears, for the men it was impossible to defeat the white walkers, but if they used the weapons of the children of the forest it would be relatively easy to defeat them. Stay back! You stay back! Possibly this is why the White Walkers have taken so long to attack Westeros, for they know that the children of the forest will use the dragonglass against them, and it is an element that makes them too vulnerable. But this means if the children of the forest created this weakness in the White Walkers, they saw the possibility of the White Walkers or the Night King rebelling. Which leads me to think that the White Walkers were created with some personality and individuality who are not a collective mind that they can control. The Night King possibly became something else after being transformed, but his mind didn't disappear entirely. In Game of Thrones we saw how the Night King turns babies into his allies, and we have speculated that this is the way he will return. I think the Night King was defeated once during the Long Night thousands of years ago, and also at Winterfell, but just as he returned a second time, he will soon return as winter may be coming in Jon Snow's series. Tell me what you think about these theories. Why do you think the Night King rebelled against the children of the forest? Which of these theories do you think is real? And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven